June Havoc, an enduring symbol of the industry, stood apart from her contemporaries in a distinctive manner. What set her apart was not just her talent, but her ability to inhabit characters with a depth and authenticity that resonated with audiences. Her knack for infusing roles with a blend of vulnerability and resilience made her performances memorable. Her enduring qualities were not just confined to her acting prowess, she was also a trailblazer, breaking molds and defying conventions of her time. Havoc's unique approach to her craft, coupled with her determination and dedication, carved her a place in Hollywood that remains distinguished even today. As for cherished memories or personal experiences related to this Hollywood luminary, many have stories to share. If you have your own anecdotes or reflections on the impact of June Havoc, we would love to hear them in the comments below. June Havoc, the younger sister of Gypsy Rose Lee, had an extraordinary start in showbiz. At just two years old, she began her professional career. By age four, she had already appeared in numerous films. Her knack for performance shone bright, earning her dollar one five hundred a week by age seven on the vaudeville circuit. Later in life, after her mother's passing, June and Gypsy wrote about their lives without legal concerns. Gypsy's memoirs, titled Gypsy, laid the groundwork for a hit Broadway musical starring Ethel Merman. The sisters' bond and journey through the entertainment industry captivated audiences, shedding light on their remarkable lives. June Havoc, recognized for her multifaceted career, left an enduring mark in entertainment. Beyond her achievements, she held a distinctive place as the aunt of Eric Lee Preminger. Her role extended beyond the limelight, notably as one of the rare Hollywood Republicans during a time of heightened tension in the industry. Alongside Richard Kant and Paul Henraid, she stood against the blacklist, a bold stance that set her apart in an era of political divide. Notably, her impact reached beyond performance. In 1964, Havoc made history as only the second woman to earn a Tony Award nomination for Best Direction of a Play for Marathon 33, a remarkable achievement following Joan Littlewood's groundbreaking nomination three years prior. This nomination underscored her trailblazing spirit and her significant contributions to theater. June Havoc's legacy extends beyond the stage and screen, evident in her multifaceted endeavors and her courageous stands within the Hollywood landscape, leaving an indelible mark on the industry. June Havoc's remarkable career extended far beyond the glitz of Hollywood. In 1986, she meticulously penned a letter to the Los Angeles Times detailing her accomplishments for the obituary files. Notably, she secured a Tony Award nomination for Best Director in 1963, showcasing her prowess with Marathon 33, a play based on her novel Early Havoc. Her commitment to historical preservation also came to light in 1978, when she restored Cannon Crossing, a pre-Civil War village in Wilton Con. Havoc's versatility shone as she guest starred on the paper chase and shared the screen with the village people in Can't Stop the Music. Interestingly, her personal life, including her burlesque star sister Gypsy Rose Lee and three marriages, found no mention in her self-penned obituary submission. June Havoc's legacy is a testament to her diverse talents, from directing acclaimed plays to preserving history, making her a standout figure in the entertainment world. June Havoc's heritage reflects a rich mix, with her father tracing his roots to Norway and her mother's ancestry comprising British Isles and German descent. This diverse background likely influenced her dynamic career in entertainment. Despite her significant contributions to the industry, June Havoc chose an unconventional path after her passing. Opting for cremation, she requested her ashes to be scattered in the garden of her cherished Connecticut home, leaving no traditional grave behind. In a poignant note, it's worth mentioning that June Havoc, known for her roles on screen and stage, was also a mother. Sadly, her daughter April Kent passed away in 1998, marking a personal loss for the actress. This brief exploration into June Havoc's family roots, unique farewell, and personal challenges offers a glimpse into the multifaceted aspects of her life, contributing to the tapestry of her impactful presence in the entertainment realm. June Havoc's life had its fair share of complexities, notably her estrangement from her sister, Gypsy Rose, for many years. The rift endured until they reconciled shortly before Gypsy Rose's passing in 1970 due to lung cancer. This reconciliation marked a significant turn in their relationship after years of distance. However, June Havoc's political stance added another layer of intrigue. Despite being a Republican, she occasionally crossed party lines to vote Democrat. 
Her personal life also held its surprises, as reflected in a candid 1980 interview where she humorously recounted a wedding certificate application mishap. Her frankness and wit shone through in her unexpected response to a registrar's question. These elements paint a picture of a woman with a multifaceted life marked by both familial reconciliations and intriguing political inclinations. Nominated for the 1964 Tony Award for Best Director for Marathon 33, June Havoc's impact on Broadway is noteworthy. Her directorial prowess showcased in the acclaimed play, based on her novel Early Havoc, earned her a place among the Tony Award nominees. This recognition, a testament to her skill and influence in the dramatic realm, adds another layer to June Havoc's rich and diverse career. Beyond the glitz of showbiz, Havoc's connection with the First Presbyterian Church in Stamford, Connecticut, reveals a lesser-known aspect of her life. An active member of the church, her involvement in the community provides insight into the actress' off-screen commitments. While her fame may have been in the spotlight, her engagement with a local church showcases a more grounded and community-oriented side to June Havoc. In 1975, Havoc received a nomination for the Joseph Jefferson Award for Best Guest Artist, a recognition of her exceptional performance in the Play Twigs at the Pheasant Run Theater in Chicago, Illinois. This acknowledgement underscores her versatility as an artist not confined to Broadway, but making an impact in regional theater as well. June Havoc's multifaceted career spanning Broadway, community engagement, and regional theater paints a picture of an artist who left an enduring mark in various facets of the entertainment world. From her Tony Award nomination to her active participation in the local church and recognition in regional theater, Havoc's influence is felt far beyond the glamour of Hollywood. Behind Closed Curtains, The Tragic Toll of Secrecy on June Havoc in the Golden Era of Hollywood in the glitzy world of Hollywood's golden era, actress June Havoc faced a silent struggle that unfolded behind closed curtains. The alluring facade of fame concealed a tragic toll of secrecy that left an indelible mark on her life. While June Havoc dazzled on the silver screen and graced Broadway stages, the shadows of abuse lingered in her past. Behind the scenes, a shocking secret unfolded, revealing the darker side of vintage Hollywood. The whispers of abuse, carefully kept hidden, unfolded a narrative that contrasted sharply with the glamorous image projected onto the big screen. The toll of secrecy weighed heavily on Havoc, impacting not only her personal life, but also influencing her professional journey. The hushed scandals of vintage Hollywood, where power imbalances thrived, took a toll on the talented actress. This hidden chapter in her life adds a layer of complexity to her legacy, shedding light on the harsh realities that often lurked behind the closed doors of stardom. As the allure of Hollywood's glittering stage beckoned, June Havoc grappled with the shadows of her past. The tragic toll of secrecy serves as a poignant reminder that, even in the glamorous world of showbiz, not everything was as it seemed. The revelations about the challenges she faced behind closed curtains add depth to our understanding of June Havoc's journey through the golden era of Hollywood.